And good night, everybody. Welcome to noblebears.tv. Your host tonight is uh, Chad Bird, and I have here with me... Braden McDonald. Braden McDonald, and we're uh, about 3.57 away from the uh, kickoff of the uh, first game in the Den. And we have this matchup that's coming up tonight is going to be the Blanchard Lions against the Noble Lady Bears. And uh, it's, I think it's going to be a pretty decent, uh, decent matchup. Don't you think so, Braden? I think so, too. They're both evenly matched. Yeah, I think so, too. The, it looks like as we've sat here and watched them warm up just a little bit. And, uh, and uh, both, both teams can shoot a little bit from the outside. And then also, uh, size-wise, they don't match up, match up too bad. It doesn't look like uh, uh, here, here tonight at all. So we sure do appreciate you tuning in to uh, noblebears.tv for uh, uh, the duration of the night and uh, being able to watch uh, the Lady Bears play the uh, Blanchard Lions uh, for this home opener at the Den. And uh, like I said, we're going to get started here in about two, two minutes and uh, uh, 50 seconds or so, and uh, we'll get the action started and kicked off here um, tonight. What do you think are some things that, uh, that Noble needs to, to do tonight, uh, Braden, to try to win this ball game? I think you got to get George going. George is a big part of the offense. If she gets going from outside, it's going to be tough to stop. I think you got to move the ball. Blanchard's got one girl or so. That inside is going to be tough to match with the physicality. Right. So if you get go George going on the outside, it's going to be tough for them to stop. Yeah, that's right. I watched him play Chickasha the other night, and what a good ball game that was. Uh, they, they started out just a little bit slow. It felt like uh, uh, the Noble Bear, or Lady Bears did, but uh, uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the night, they, they cut that deficit down, went into overtime play, and then uh, ended up getting uh, beat by three points uh, during that game. And so good basketball game, something that I was talking to Coach Vandenberg about this week was uh, just how gritty this noble lady bears team is that they they have a lot of heart and a lot of try and um and so you know even when they were down they kept they kept just chugging away trying to get back into the game and they did uh pulling off some some really nice shots in that uh, fourth quarter is there any uh, any other uh players that stand out to you tonight on the on the lady bears i'm gonna go have to go with number 22 callie abernathy true freshman getting to play a lot of varsity minutes. I'm anxious to see what she can do yeah, tonight. Yeah, that'll be great. I'll tell you what, I watched uh, uh, Steely, number zero as well, against Chickasha, and uh, I can tell you right now, Rayleigh Steely is the real deal. She's a, she's a true point guard and uh, really just fearless uh, most of the time. And so we're counting down now. We got 46 seconds left, fixing to go into the national anthem here. And uh, we're going to uh, listen to our announcer, John Stokes, uh, call out those starting lineups for uh, both Noble Lady Bears and uh, the Blanchard Lady Lions and uh, get this thing rolling. We're excited to uh, be here with you tonight. And uh, let's take a, just a pause real quick. And we're going to uh, join in with our announcer and also the uh, national Good anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Den at Noble High School for tonight's basketball matchup between the Lady Lions of Blanchard and your Noble Lady Bears. At this time, we ask that you all please rise and direct your attention to the flag on the north side of the court as the pride of Noble performs our national anthem.
And now, the starting lineups for tonight's match. Starting the game for the Lady Lions. Number two, Junior Reese Carpenter. Number 13, Senior Abby Price. Number 20, Junior Allie Lawson. Number 22, freshman Sadie Franklin. Number 24, sophomore Alex Price. Lady Lions are coached by Jennifer Schneeberger and assisted by Adam Lamley. And now, the starting lineup for your noble Lady Bears. Number zero, sophomore, Rayleigh Steely. Senior, number 11, Mackenzie Hickey. Senior, number 21, Landry George. Freshman, number 22, Kelly. Abernathy and sophomore number 23 Hayden George the Lady Bears are coached by Lindsay Vandenberg assisted by Tiffany Birds and Leland Palmer ladies and gentlemen get on your feet make some noise let's get ready to play some basketball here tonight all right this is the time we've been waiting for in the den it's the kickoff to the uh, to the Noble Bear season in the den tonight, taking on the Blanchard Lady Lions. Looks like that we've got Hayden George going to be uh, jumping uh, for Noble, and uh, it looks like Blanchard's taking a, a little bit here of a a defensive stance. Hickey gets the ball, and uh, Steely takes the ball up top and calls a number two. A lot of pressure right now from Blanchard right off the bat. Yeah, they're getting in their grill early. Yeah, they're pushing them way out. Noble's going to have just to take a deep breath here, calm down. Hiki takes the ball to the hoop and loses it on her way up, but gets to keep it on the baseline. It's going to be uh, Noble, Bears, Noble Bears basketball. Looks like some kind of play they're setting up. Hickey from the outside and hits backboard. Blanchard rebounds the ball and brings the ball down. Let's see what kind of defense Noble is going to be setting up in. Looks like a man-to-man. Hickey has a lot of pressure. I'll tell you what, she just she's she's like firecracker. She just keeps going and going and going. I like to watch her play. Blanchard shoots the ball. Uh, looks like no rim, and then a jump ball is called. Possession will stay with Blanchard. From the baseline. Looks like they're looking for a screen. Cut and shoot, maybe. She thought about it. She thought about it for a second, but they're going to go ahead and pass the ball around the horn. Coming up from the baseline, turns to look to shoot, but nothing's there. Good defense so far against uh, the Lady Bears. Trying to get the ball inside. Blanchard is. They pass it back outside. Looks for the shot. Drives. Shoots it up. And that's two. Two for Blanchard. All right. Noble still kind of pushed, pushed far outside. We got a foul called on White 22, Abernathy. That'll be her first of the night. Noble's extended out on defense right now. Still in a man to man. Blanchard's really fighting tough down low to get uh, some position on George, but doesn't get it, and uh, Noble heads the other direction, and Steely, with no fear, comes through the lane, but doesn't get her head up in time and uh, hits the bottom of the rim, and Blanchard comes back the other direction. Behind the back, number 22 passes off and doesn't hit anything, but still 
is knocked out by Noble Bears, and uh, they're going to be on the baseline. Blanchard's in a box. You get it up underneath and uh, pass it off. Ooh, but George gets a, gets a block, doesn't she there, <laughs> Braden? Ball goes across the court to Abernathy. Trying to get the ball somewhere inside, but uh, having a hard time other than the drive. But Hickey finds a way in. George Great gets the rebound. George. Two for... Hayden George, we got a tied ball game with uh, 5.45 left in the first quarter. 2-2. Two, two. Looks like Blanchard's doing a lot of screening. A lot of screening. That was kind of an easy layup for uh, Blanchard, but in and out of the rim, and uh, Hickey brings the ball down really, really fast, and we've got some contact uh, on the floor. It's number 13 on uh, Blanchard, and we're gonna have Noble Lady Bears on the baseline. Number 14, Tegan Collison is checking in for number 13, Abby Price. All right, some good movement there. Kick it in and back out. Abernathy with some ball handling skills. Up, shoots, but uh, it's in and out. Ball's on the floor, looking for a tied ball, and that possession should stay with the Lady Bears. So we're gonna have a baseline play for the Lady Bears. 5-18 left in the first. And uh, we've got some physicality down there with Hayden George and uh, the, the big from Blanchard. Looks like number 24, Alex Price. Oh, we got a, got a layup from Blanchard and she was fouled. See who that was on. First foul for McKenzie Hickey. Ball is up and it hits the front of the rim. Yep. Shout, shout out to our uh, camera crew that's uh, working with us tonight. We've uh, got two new uh, goal cams installed this this season, and uh, we're going to be able to use those as we go into free throws. Good job on the, uh, the camera, uh, men and women that are in the uh, control room. Oh, oh layup. Hickey up with a shot, and uh, the Lady Bears go up by one. Scores four to three, Lady Bears, and now we got some extensive pressure from the uh, Bears, and it breaks down on the backside, and uh, the Lions make a pretty easy layup. Four to five. Lions go up by one. Trying to look for somebody open, and unfortunately, uh, a little bit of a push, push there, and it uh, caused uh, Hayden George to walk with the basketball. Lester's doing a great job at keeping Noble outside, not getting much inside. Yeah, right that's exactly right, Braden. Not a lot. I tell you what, defense right now with the Noble uh, Lady Bears are, is pretty good, too. They're extended out into a 3-2 into a and uh, pretty much executing that perfectly right now. What a steal by the freshman, Abernathy. Look oh. behind the back pass to Hickey. Show some athleticism there. I'll tell you what, some of those passes by Abernathy, they're... <laughs> They're, uh, they're pretty nice. I tell you what, for a freshman to see the floor like she does, I think you were talking about it earlier. You were wondering exactly how she would play tonight, and she's uh, brought her A game. Mm -hmm. Blanchard tries to break the press, but uh, no. George uh, stole the ball from her, and she's looking to shoot. If she could get on tonight, that sure would help. But her sister picks up the uh, trash from the outside. Score six to five. She's doing a great job on the offensive boards, catching those Blanchard li lines in a tough spot, boxing out. All right. Broke the press again, coming down and uh, had a hard foul underneath on uh, Steely, it looks like. And Blanchard's going to take the ball on the baseline. Kind of a throw to the center and a, and a tipped shot. Steely tried to go for that pass, but uh, it was just tipped. 
but luckily last touch by Blanchard. And it looks like Hayden George will be uh, throwing the ball in. No rules. Uh, a little bit of a sloppy throw in, uh, but luckily it hit uh, hit a Blanchard player and bounced back out. Got to be careful on those kind of things. Turnovers kill you in a game. And um, we got to make sure that we take care of the ball. Hickey collects, takes up, does that little roundabout shot that she has and uh, gets fouled. That's Alex Price. That's only her first foul of the night. Hickey's at the line. Shoots, and it's a little bit long against the rim. As she collects her thoughts, gives a high five to her teammates, and going to try it one more time. Maybe this one will be a little bit better. Nice shot. Nothing but net. Drains it in. Bears seven. Lions are at five. Full court pressure once again. Nice steal from Hickey. Hickey goes Another back layer. up. Lays the ball up. Two points. Tons of pressure. Hickey again. Another steal. I think they, they ended up calling it a kick. They called it a, a kick, and so it's going to be Blanchard ball. Noble is doing great pressure. I don't think Blanchard knows how to respond right now with this kind of pressure. Yeah, they're having a hard time. They're having a hard time getting through and breaking the press. Blanchard dribbles in, pops it back out, trying to get inside. But George's presence inside is massive, and so she uh, is able to stop, stop the score and fight for the ball. Looks like it was at a tie, 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 tie ball, and uh, it's going to be Blanchard's ball out. George and. Alex Price are battling tonight, it looks like, so far. We had a check-in, number three for Blanchard. 22 has the ball, looks up to shoot, but nothing's there. But they'll take it deep from the corner. It rims out. George has the rebound and is pushing the ball up with some pace. Steely gets the ball, but is fouled. It's number three, Addison Shop for... Addison Schmidt, excuse me. Hickey's going to take the ball out from the corner here. I'll tell you what, like I said, I've, I've been really impressed with Steely uh, in the last game and this game both. And I'll tell you what, Hickey has no fear. She takes That's the ball. Right. That's there... six, isn't it, for Hayden George in this first quarter. Timeout. For the Lions, and as they take a lot of time out, we are too here on NobleBears.tv. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Sports. All right, we're back after that 30-second timeout. They've discussed exactly what they need to do. Uh, going into the last two minutes, 18 seconds in the first quarter, scores 11 to 5. Bears are up. What and Hayden George. George with the steal. I'll tell you what, Hayden's playing great tonight. She's cleaning up the glass real nice for Noble right now, giving them a lot of second chance points. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see her throughout the season as she just gets a little bit more experience underneath her belt and continues to play. She's going to be a huge asset for uh, the Lady Bears. The Bears are keeping uh, Blanchard out on the perimeter right now. And what a Hickey steal again. by Hickey. Lays it up, and there's two. 13 to 5, Lady Bears, and they're going to put some more pressure uh, on the Lions, trying to keep them from 
from getting the ball down the court. Abernathy was just a little too excited about getting to that ball, and it seems like she bumped into the back of a That's her second. Blanchard player. We have a number 24, Landry Decker, checking in for Abernathy. That was something Coach Vandenberg had discussed this week that uh, – that we, they definitely had to watch out and make sure that they didn't get into foul trouble early. Mm -hmm. And uh, so especially for some of these younger players that are moving up to a faster pace uh, game like this one is for sure, um, they're going to make sure they keep their hands to themselves and out wide and, and not try to pick the pocket so much of those Blanchard lines and uh, keep themselves out of foul trouble. So uh, Coach Vandenberg pulled uh, Abernathy out and it's going to set her probably for the rest of the quarter at least because she def definitely has two uh, fouls tonight. Number 15, checking into the game now, Kylan Dobbs for the Blanchard Lions. All right. Blanchard's trying to uh, come up with a little bit of a plan from the outside, kind of stalling there. Number 20 drives and shoots, but hits nothing as she goes up. Another shot from the outside, nothing again. They're just throwing the ball up. Uh, ball goes over the top, and if she touches this, it should be backcourt. And another turnover for the uh, Blanchard Lions, and uh, the Bears are going to uh, try to capitalize on this. Got baseline. Looking for George in the middle. Gets it to us. Nice. Landry George is dribbling and just pulls back and shoots, just hits the backside of the rim, barely misses it. We need to get her to get going in this second quarter to come, and it uh, really would uh, open up this ball game for the uh, Bears if she could. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, Blanchard looks just a little bit frustrated right now that uh, the Bears are playing such good defense. See, if I was them, Noble's controlled the pace so far. I'd slow it back down, get back to what you do best. That's right, yeah. I agree I agree with that completely. They're, they're passing the ball just a little bit more, trying to get some movement. You know, if you can get, if you can get their feet to move, a lot of times you can find a, a back door or something to come through, and uh, Blanchard hadn't moved the ball well enough yet uh, to be able to see uh, this, those easy, clear shots. That's the reason they're throwing up uh, so, some type of desperation shots at time. Number All 14, right. Tegan Collison is in for the Blanchard Lions for number 24, Alex Price. 35 seconds left in this quarter. We're going to see if they're going like to kind of hold the ball a little bit and uh, do the last shot, but I was completely wrong, <laughs> and they fired it away, and here comes Blanchard uh, quickly back down the court to try to score, and uh, we've got a foul on the ground. That's uh, Hayden George. That's her second. Second foul again. So that's two on uh, Hayden George and then two on Abernathy. We're going to have to watch that going into the second quarter and see uh, what Coach Vandenberg does uh, and if I'm those girls are going to get into foul trouble or not. Another Steely, board. Seely bringing down the ball really quickly, and I think she's just going to take the ball up and shoot, but she gets it stripped from her. And we're going to, it looks like we're going to have baseline uh, for the Bears. 10.5 seconds left in the quarter. We got George trying to dribble the ball in again. It's stripped away. 6.3 seconds left for one final attempt from the uh, Lady Bears is what we're going to get. Looks to Counting like down. Kiki gets the ball. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's not afraid to shoot. She's going to drive in and shoot a layup. Oh. No. All right. That's the end of the first quarter. Scores 13 to 5. Lady Bears had a great showing that first quarter. They're going to take a break, talk it over. So are we. We're here live at noblebears.tv. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information.
streamed with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. All right, we are back. Starting the second quarter. Once again, Bears 13, uh, Lady Lions 5. Noble gets the ball at the beginning of this quarter. Automatic turnover right there. We had a little bit of walk. And Blanchard's going to have the ball. All right, let's see what kind of adjustments Blanchard makes uh, going into this second quarter. It looks like Noble's in a 3-2 uh, defense, trying to keep them spread out continually, and they're, and they're passing the ball around the horn, and they did get a shot off, and that one's good, which gives the Lions seven points. So whatever adjustments they made on at least that first trip down the court worked. Uh, for the Lions. Steely all the way. That was a pretty easy, she just walked in. Steely kind of with a stutter step and just decided to take advantage of the open hole. Moved all the way through. A Little bit of a light press by Vandenberg's team and uh, Blanchard does have the ball down the court now. And uh, still keeping the ball extremely wide on the outside. Uh, uh, they're they're going they're they're in a three two uh, defense and they're having a hard time penetrating. Blanchard just seems a little confused at times about how to get the ball inside. Mm -hmm. Steely driving the ball down. Will she do it again? Pretty easy. Easy. That's two for Steely. Time out. Lays it up. Blanchard. Blanchard needs to regroup. It's uh, six thirty six. In the uh, second with 17-7, the Bears are up. This is NobleBear.tv, and we're going to take a break with them. At Maples Nixon and Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. All right, we're back to the action. Blanchard's bringing the ball down the court. Kind of a double team on the uh, right side of the court. Blanchard does a pretty good job of moving the ball around the horn but still not penetrating on the inside very much. They get the ball to the high uh, top of the key, but uh, still uh, not able to get it in. And we got a lion and a bear fighting for the ball. And we end up with a foul, foul. on Reese Carpenter. Number 24, Alex Price coming back into the game for number 15, Kylan Dobbs. I thought they were going to call a, a jump ball there for a second, but there was much more contact than what we could see, Braden, uh, from the desk here. Steely's uh, dribbling the ball, trying to find George underneath open. Pass a little long, and uh, George wasn't able to save it, but they're going to pressure the ball again, and uh, we've seen it uh, so far tonight that Landers had a hard time getting the ball down the court once pressured, and there's another time. Hayden George with just an athletic move in the middle, going and tipping that ball out. So Bears retreat into a 3-2 uh, defense, and uh, Blanchard is going to go to a high-low offense. See if that works any better for him. 5.41 left in the second, and 17-7 uh, right now. Lady Bears are your leaders. Number two tries to penetrate, kicks. Number 20 shoots, but once again, kind of a desperation shot, misses. Misses the rim again from the inside. A lot of shots just going up, uh, not really squaring up to the bucket. Uh, but that's probably contributed to great defense on the bear side. Landry George drives and shoots off the back of the rim. The rebound goes up and the foul. And Decker with the uh, two points and the foul going to the line to shoot one.
That's the first foul on Liggins from Blanchard tonight. Score 19-7, 5.08 left in the, ball, in the, in the first half. And uh, Blanchard comes down, still running a high-low offense. Uh, a George had a, had a great defensive move, but uh, Blanchard did a little step back and turn around and shot the ball and uh, scored two. Steely trying to penetrate, moves the ball and shot. hits it again. I think that's six points for Steely tonight. Six. And I'll so she's, she's been pretty hot uh, this quarter. Oh, and there Ray with a Hussle. tremendous move by Steely, knocking the ball out of bounds. It's going to be Blanchard's ball on the baseline. I like what Noble's doing. They're keeping them guessing. They're sitting back, then they're pressuring. They're sitting back. Blanchard doesn't know what to do or how to set up any kind of offense when they do something like that. Yeah, they're definitely changing it up. I think Vandenberg's doing a good job tonight. She's, she's a uh, student of film, and uh, they love to be able to plan for games, and I uh, think they've done a good job tonight doing that. Blanchard's pulling the ball up really, really fast, kicks it to the corner and trying to shoot. 22 from the sides, nothing but net. Drains it. That gives them 11. Bears 21, Lions 11. And uh, Vandenberg decides she's going to talk about it for just a second. And uh, so are we. We're going to uh, send you off to commercial. This is NobleBears.tv. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously... All right, we're back to the action. Steely's bringing the ball down. Looks like they're trying to set up some kind of play. For George on the outside, just kind of have to stretch over that defense. Didn't really get a good extension on the shot. And they're There's, trying to get George going. Yeah, that's for sure. 22 on Blanchard just scored. And uh, that's, that's Franklin. That's Is that her second this quarter? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to make sure she doesn't, we need to make sure she doesn't heat up on us and have to keep an eye on her. George is out top handling the ball. He, he's going to turn the corner here. And a tied ball. Uh, kind of hesitated just a little bit there. I thought she either had a walk or a foul, and no, they, uh, they called a tie, so it's going to be Blanchard ball on the sideline. Blanchard's adjusted just a hair uh, in that timeout. They're still flashing that high post. Yeah, they do. They're, they're wanting to get the ball on the inside, but we've got uh, a little bit of presence in there with... Uh, with George and also Decker, uh, Shot by number 20. Number 20, that is Allie Lawson. From the outside, Bears up 21-16 with 2.57 left in the half. Going through just a little bit of a lull time here with the Bears. Uh, I think that uh, the Lions have adjusted a little bit to their defense and uh, now it's kind of shaking them up. Steal by the uh, Lions and Hit the bottom of the rim. Kiki's coming through the middle. She shoots oh. uh, off the front of the rim. Blanchard decides that they're going to slow it down just a little bit and take their time and try to set up. Still running a high-low and uh, not able to get it down. Good defensive presence by uh, the Bears. A rebound by George and... Uh, Steely is trying to drive the ball in and penetrate. Kicks it back down to George. Is this the one? Oh. Uh, we need to get her started tonight. Uh, if she can ever get warmed up, it seems like once they turn loose, it turns loose, you know. So Blanchard bringing the ball down slowly. Still in a high-low set. Peaky's pressuring the ball up top, saying, don't bring it in here to me. All over. George 
squares up against number 22, and I thought number two was going to shoot that from way downtown, but uh, Steely persuaded her to put the put the gun back in the rack and in, uh, in the holster and uh, do something different. Blanchard's Blanchard's really trying to to get the ball in, but still has had a problem. See, with this, you're making the defense not do anything. They're not working. You're working against yourself. You're staying out on the horn. You got to get a defense like this. You got to get it to move. Right, yeah. Their, their feet uh, have been still. Blanchard does get it in that time, though, and uh, penetrates in, gets the two points, 21-18. Uh, Braden, they brought this ball game back at, uh, right before the half. Uh, Noble needs to score in this possession. Moving the ball around the horn, Hickey drives. Like you said earlier, Hickey just has no fear. I'm gonna. She has the mentality. I'm gonna go at whoever you put in front of me. <laughs> she, she. I don't think it matters. Whoever you are, I want I'm you. I'm gonna go. Yeah, and she'll twist and contort her body any way she has to to get around you. So we got Hickey at the line. She's shooting. She drains the first one. Going to set up for the second one. Drains the second one. one. 23-18 with 39 seconds left. All right, we got number 15. That is Martinez. Araceli Martinez checking in for Hayden George. Noble again with this pressure. Oh, he got loose. And 21 shoots it up. That's got two. The and the bucket. That's and the bucket. Got the foul and the bucket. So yep. she's going to be shooting one. That's Decker's first foul on the night. 14 coming into the game for the Lions. That's Tegan Collison for number 24, Alex Price. That's going to put the score at 23-20. Uh, Noble Bears are up with 31-6 left in the ball game. Noble gets the rebound, but then all of a sudden there's a fight for the ball, and it's a tied ball, and uh, that will uh, go to the Lady Bears. So 29 seconds left, and uh, the Lady Bears need to really score on this possession, at least to go in with a, maybe a five to a six-point lead. Open underneath, but then uh, pass thrown away, turnover. A lot of movement on the uh, on the ground, but we've got a jump ball, and that jump ball is going to go to Blanchard. So Blanchard's got 14.7 seconds left, number, down by three. Number two, Reese Carpenter coming in the game for the Lions. Braden, you think they're going to drive this one in, or you think they're going to try to shoot this shoot the three ball and uh, tie it up? If I was Blanchard, I'd go driving in the lane. You've had much success going in the lane. I feel like they're going to go to the lane. Oh, she shoots. Nothing. Shoots again. Hits the bottom yeah. of the rim. We have a foul. That is the first on Martinez. Number one, five. Martinez with the foul. Number two goes to the line. She's going to be shooting with 2.6 seconds left on the clock. She makes the first one. Sets up for this second shot. Could bring them within one. And we get a rebound by George. Steely throws the ball down the court. Little bit short. 23-21, Bears are up by two. That's your halftime score. And we're uh, glad you're with us here at noblebears.tv. We'll be back with you in just a moment. Develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner.
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. We offer advanced systems that provide a secure connection to dedicated professionals who can dispatch first responders at a moment's notice. Your system will feature an easy-to-use touchscreen that intuitively makes operating your system as simple as one touch. It's state-of-the-art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. All right, we're back here live at uh, the Den. We're here with uh, Coach Bradley, the uh, coach for the uh, Noble Bears. How are you doing tonight, Coach Bradley? Doing good. Great, great. It's... Uh, it's good to have you here live with us on uh, on NobleBears.tv. Got to uh, watch your game uh, at Chickasha the other night, and uh, man, I tell you what, uh, your boys looked looked extremely uh, extremely good. That press uh, seemed to, to work on them. We, we once you switched we, it over, we we took advantage. That our plan was whenever five went off the floor, we were going to start trapping them. We weren't going to press him when he was on the floor. Right. And right. Uh, he picked up a couple of fouls early because we did what we needed to. We took a charge on him when he drove. But, that made a big difference for us moving forward. I think we finished that quarter on a 12-0 run. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. I knew, you know, it's like at the beginning of any season, uh, probably just a, a few little jitters or whatever at the, at the beginning, they kind of struggled uh, just a hair. But, I, you know, you made some adjustments there, and uh, it seemed like that from that point on, uh, you guys pretty much controlled the game yes. and, and really started frustrating Chickasha down the stretch yes. uh, where they couldn't, you know, they, they really couldn't even even shoot. Tell you what, I was looking at your roster too. You got a lot of young players uh, uh, playing on your roster. Tell me, tell me a little bit about your uh, your freshmen that you're starting and uh, and how excited you are about uh, about those guys. Well, it, he's he he could be a he could be a, a good one, um, and I saw that when he was in seventh grade. But he wasn't handling the ball in their seventh grade team. He was off the ball, and I I told so I put my son at the middle school to coach those kids last year. Right. And I told him, I said, no one needs to be the point guard because that's what he's going to be when he gets up here. And he's really developed in that. And, he, you know, he's pretty smart, um, tough kid. Um, and I'll be honest with you, he struggled a little bit in the preseason in our scrimmages, um, but he really played well um, when the lights came on yeah. the other night. Um, you know, but I, I thought as a group, um, we did a lot of we did a lot of really good things that we really haven't done in the other two years I've been here as far as just finishing some plays off. Um, and our our chemistry um, right now with the group we have right now, our chemistry is night and day different than what it's right. been in the past. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it on the uh, on the floor just within the that first game. You know, and I'll tell you what, uh, something that I was really impressed with that I think that you do a a tremendous job is uh, when defensively. You know, and and then the fly traps that you do, um, and and how those boys have been coached into to turning that ball over, and that just makes a, a difference. You know, don't have a lot of height necessarily. No. Fisher Fisher's a big boy, but yeah. he's he's not like a six seven, no. you know, six ten well, center. And I've been, but, I mean, in all honesty, like you know, all the years that I've been doing this, and I, I mean, other than my son, when I coached him for a year, you know, he's legitimate size. Yeah, but he, he is. But he he's moves. A big guy. But he moves like guards. When he played for me, he right. moved like guards. So right. I've never had that. We've, 
We've always been 5'10", 5'11", 6 foot tall with the post kid maybe 6'3", or 6'4", and, you know, just the style of play has always helped us out. Right. Well, I tell you what, they did a good job just getting after it yeah. and, uh, and just playing hard basketball. What do we got looking forward to tonight here with Blanchard? Uh, I don't know how much you've got to be able to scout them. They, I don't have they have they played no, this at is, all. This uh, is their opener. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I mean, you're you're looking at a group that was really good last year. Went to state tournament last year in 4A, which 4A is really really deep and tough. Um, they they have everybody back. Um, they're very well coached. They're very disciplined. They run stuff. They got guys that can really shoot the basketball. And defensively, they're a they're an issue because they play that pack line defense where they don't give up a lot of drives. So you right. got You've got to make shots on the perimeter, and you've got to get the ball reversed to have an opportunity to score against them. Right, right. Well, I'll tell you what. We are looking forward to, uh, to watching the, uh, the home opener with your, with your boys and uh, just want to wish you a good luck throughout the season. Appreciate and, it. And uh, hopefully uh, you will go, go far into the, uh, into the playoffs when we get to that, when we get to that point. So. That's, uh, that's always the goal. That always is the goal for sure. Hey, we want to thank uh, Coach Bradley for stopping by. Uh, once again, we'll talk for, to him from time to time uh, in, uh, in, in the halftime of the girls' game. And uh, right now we're going to take you to commercial. And uh, thank you for being with us here at uh, noblebears.tv. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to protect your family with Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi. Internet security is becoming more of a fear every day. Protect your family against malware, viruses, intrusions, cyber attacks, and more. Modern internet deserves modern security. Get the best of both worlds with Pioneer in-home Wi-Fi and the Smart Wi-Fi app. Download the Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app today or visit GoPioneer.com for more information. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horse, and we are here to help. All right, we're back here in the den. Here with uh, Braden McDonald, I'm Chad Bird, your host tonight. Uh, for the uh, girls game. Tell me, Braden, what have you seen so far in that uh, first half? Um, I saw Hayden George be an absolute nightmare on defense, crashing the boards. She's having a great game. She's got six points and about five boards on her way to a nice double-double. I like what I'm seeing from Rayleigh Steely, just playing all around great basketball, just doing everything fundamentally sound. She looks good tonight. I tell you what, she's hustling, and, uh, and uh, I like how she controls the ball as well. And so scores 23-21. They kind of let them back in here in that last probably four minutes of the uh, first half. And so they're going to have to find what they had at the, uh, in the first quarter, uh, starting off in the third, and try to uh, lengthen that lead out to something that's just a little bit more comfortable than two. All right, 
I think we're fixing to get started. We're waiting for Blanchard to break out of the huddle. And they just did that now. And it's going to be uh, Bears basketball. Passes it to George up top. Have a little bit of rotation. Steely gets the ball picked from her. Fast break down. Pretty easy layup there. And now we've got a tied ball game right off the bat. That is Alex Price's first bucket. She's been quiet all game long so far. Steely dribbles in, kicks it back outside, and Hickey decides she wants to drain a three-pointer from the outside. And they go up for the pressure on the, uh, on the full court press once again. Uh, Blanchard breaks that pretty easy and puts it in for two. That's one person we forgot to mention before the game, even before this second half started. Mackenzie Hickey has been playing excellent. Yeah, she, I'll tell you what, you know, it's one of those deals with Hickey. You just know she's going to bring uh, uh, energy and excitement to the game. And like you said before, we've said it probably two or three times during the broadcast, she's just really not scared of anything. She's going to drive in and shoot if she can, and then she hits that three-pointer. George from the outside, in and out, but uh, clean back up from the other George. Good job from Hayden picking that, uh, picking that back up. I'll tell you what, the press from the top is pretty tough, and uh, Blanchard has a hard time at times, but once they get it broke past half court, it seems like it opens up, and they've been able to score four points pretty easy. That's number 21, Mariah Ligon. She has eight points for the Lions tonight. Hickey from the outside, three. she's warming up. That puts them up 31-27, and I'll tell you what, Jennifer from, uh, uh, Coach Jennifer from Blanchard is not excited about that three being shot. All right. Noble ball from the sideline. Abernathy gets it into Hickey. Hickey drives. And that's a block on number 24, Alex Price. That's her second foul of the night. Hickey's going to go to the line. She's going to be shooting two. Hickey's been about 50% from the line tonight, I think. She in and out on that first one. Let's see if she can make it up on the second shot. She makes this one. We're going to see uh, Noble go up and put that tough press that they've been doing. There's another free throw. All right, there it is. Got a 3-2 uh, two, two press, and here comes to the corner Abernathy. Abernathy cuts her off, and the referee saying he got a, a hand to the head. That's... Hand to the head. I had a pretty good view of that. I didn't see any hands to the head, but... We're going to go with what the uh, referee has, has That's called. Three on Abernathy. All right. We're going to have to watch her getting into foul trouble. That's pretty quick with only six minutes left in the third to get another one uh, after two in the first half. Number 20 Great jumps defense. up and shoots. Another board for George. That's her seventh board of the night. She has been cleaning up the glass. Yeah, she's doing really, really good. Abernathy to Steely. Steely has an open shot, passes it up. Moves it around. Hickey looks and shoots, but really was kind of contested. Uh, not a great, not a great look on Hickey's part that time. But she's down on the defensive side, and we've got a block on number eleven, Hickey. I'll tell you what happens sometimes, Braden. You, you make a mistake on one end, an offensive end. You shoot a, a ball that maybe the shot's not so great. You go to the other end and you try to make up for it. And, uh, and, and two wrongs don't make a right, if you know what I mean. So uh, she finds herself uh, in, in, in another foul situation. And uh, Blanchard is on the line. Scores 32-27 with 5.42 left. Blanchard hits that one, puts them to 28. That's Sadie Franklin. She has five on the night. And Steely's bringing the ball up, kicks it to the uh, left side of the court, hits Hickey in the middle, but Hickey can't control the ball, turns it over, and Blanchard's bringing the ball the other direction. 
Looks like Noble's going to a man-to-man -man defense now instead of that 3-2. It's kind of confused Blanchard for the minute. They're trying to get the ball back inside again and can't. But they do have an open two-pointer from the outside. Hits the rim and bounces off. But what a hustle from Blanchard. Hits, gets the, uh, the rebound off the backside. Hits it in the middle and, and hits two. Scores 32-30. Noble Bears are up. A lot of pressure right now from uh, Blanchard against Hickey. Hickey gets her uh, pockets picked, pushes the ball down. Uh, Blanchard does, pulls it back out. Almost a walk from number 24 on the top side. Great pressure from Hickey right there, trying to disrupt that handoff. From the outside. Hits the uh, side of the rim. Abernathy's pushing the ball down. Kicks it back out to Hiki. Hiki says, I'll take that one again. And hey! drains another one from outside. That's three from the same spot from Hiki. She's heating up in this uh, third quarter. Hiki's keeping them in the game. 35-30 with 4.05 left in the third. They're going to try to match it, but no. Ball hits hard off the back of the rim. Out on uh, Landry George, and uh, Blanchard Ball is going to be on the baseline. We need uh, we need Hayden George to take care of the middle spot here, where they don't drive in just like this and shoot. She gets a hand in her face and makes her miss. And we're going the other direction. Steely's uh, does a little crossover and jump, a little bit short. And uh, Blanchard had an opportunity to move the ball down quickly, but decided not to, and uh, pulls it up just right across half court. I think they're trying to set something up, maybe. Yeah, they're Abernathy underneath there, kind of fighting with number 14. Down low, but they're not being able really to see anything. They can't seal off their man down there. The Noble Bears are fighting to get around. And... Uh, Blanchard doesn't see a great pass, a clear pass to the underneath, and aren't comfortable necessarily shooting from the outside all the time with somebody in their face. Abernathy is uh, really being physical with number 14. Great hustle by Steely right there. Abernathy's going to have to be careful with three fouls and being so physical with number 14. I've seen her on the top, getting after her, and on the bottom. Number 13 came into the game for the Blanchard Lions. That's Abby Price. They better, Blanchard better hurry up and get the ball in. Great That's defense five. by Noble. All right, turnover on Blanchard. Scores 35-30 with 3.03 left in the third. Steely dribbles the ball down, passes it to George. Hickey on the left side, drives. Comes up underneath and hits the bottom of the rim, but she does get fouled, and she's going back to the line. I'll tell you what, she has a tendency to be able to draw that foul. When she pulls the ball from underneath as she's driving, seems like those uh, Blanchard Lady Lions like to hit her hands and uh, puts her on the line. Sinks the first one from the line. Schubert just checked in, number three for Blanchard. Hickey's shot is up and in. 37-30, stretched it out just a little bit with a 2.53 uh, left in the third. Great run by Noble. What was now, once was a two-point game, now it's seven. Nice, nice poke there by uh, Steely. Blanchard gets the ball back. Blanchard's consistently playing this high-low uh, high low game and having a hard time getting the ball inside. Oh. And defense by Abernathy, uh, but they caught her. That's her fourth foul on the night. Yeah, they, they caught her. I tell you what, she just plays with such uh, uh, emotion and, uh, and heart that uh, she gets caught sometimes with that, you know. Uh, that, that foul didn't seem to be severe to me at all but uh, some referees like to call the you know smaller tiki tack type fouls and that's kind of what what that one was 
Decker checks in for Abernathy. The 14 from Blanchard is going to shoot. Scores. Makes it a six-point ball game. That is three points for Tegan Collison on the Blanchard line. All right. Looks like they're going to a 2-3. Steele is dribbling the ball up top, moves it over to George. Back to the back to Hege, but Hege gets hit once again on the drive. That's going to be on Dobbs. That's our first. First foul on Dobbs. Going to be on the baseline. Yeah. What a layup by Hege. The old picket fence play where Hickey just kind of comes around the corner and uh, lays the ball up. Ball poked away by Decker and uh, Hayden George gets it and Another then three. Hickey from the outside. That makes four. Somebody put an X on that mark because that's where she's shooting from. We got a timeout from Blanchard right now. We're going to take a timeout here too at Noble. Bears.tv. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst. All right, we're back with you here live in the den. We've got a uh, great game between the Noble Bears and the uh, Lady Lions, 42 to 31. Noble found a, a little bit of a run there in the uh, this this last part of the uh, third quarter. Big thanks to that was the ball, amazing shooting stroke of Mackenzie Heakin. Yeah, she's she has been hot from that right side. Up uh, for the Blanchard Lions, but it was in and out. Fighting for the ball on the floor. Back for a layup. And that's two and looks like the foul. That's Allie Lawson. That's uh, Decker's second foul. Number 20, Lawson is going to line up for two. Well, another One. great yeah. board by Hayden George. That's eight. Steely's going to be driving the ball down. She tries to collect and uh, move up, but they get her for a charge. Oh. She collects, and uh, they say that uh, Blanchard was set. Vandenberg is not happy about this one at all. He, she's trying to get the referee to explain to her how in the world was, <laughs> was she set. And uh, I guess they just have a disagreement about that one because he called a, a, a charge foul on Steely. We got this press going on again from the uh, Lady Bears and uh, Decker pokes it away from the backside. Number two picks it, up, picks it back up and shoots for two. That's Reese Carpenter. That's her first bucket of the game. And the Lions cut it down to seven. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, it's just kind of a back and forth competition here. It's, it's been a good game for uh, both uh, the Bears and the Lions. We need to uh, two hands uh, there on Steely from number 15. And Landry George shoots from the outside. It's in and out, but Hayden George rebounds. It's in and out as well. And we've got a running back down. The Lions shoot, but it's a really long layup. Steely gets the ball and is going to press the ball down the court. Oh, Looking George. for George Wide underneath. Open. That's two. 44-35, 22 seconds left in this third quarter. 
And Blanchard's going to try to get the ball down and see if they can take advantage of these last few seconds, and they do. That's just a layup right wow. there by number 22, Sadie Franklin. Franklin. Looks like Noble's going to wait and try to get the last shot. Two seconds left. Waited just a little bit too long. Didn't have the opportunity to drive in. That's the end of the third, 44-37. Going into this fourth quarter right now, we're going to take a break with them. This is Noble Bears Dot TV. From athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. And we're back. Eight minutes left in this ball game. Bears at 44, Lions at 37. And I'll tell you what, down the stretch, it's just whoever uh, wants it more, Braden. Exactly. All right. I like the fight from both teams. Both of them are not giving up easy. It's going to be tough whoever wins, ends up winning this ball game. Yeah, it's been a good game all night long. Just kind of back and forth. The, the point spread's been really about the same all night long. And uh, Blanchard tries to turn the ball over, but picks it back up. Defense extended out with uh, the Bears. Trying to get that high-low working again inside, and they, uh, they do get the shot off, but uh, unable to convert. Noble so it's going to be ball. noble ball. Let's see what Blanchard sets up in. And a man-to-man -man right now. George. Hey. Nice. Hayden George with a drive. When, it, when it's needed, she just takes over. She goes in, shoots, gets fouled. Been quiet all game, and now she's finally starting to heat up. That's right. Let's see if she can take advantage of this free throw shot right here and make it three, and she does. That puts Noble up 47-37, er, that's 10 points. And uh, it'd be nice to get a stop here and see if we can uh, make a little bit of a run uh, going into the start of this fourth quarter. Steely uh, with great defense, Decker uh, with a little bit of a touch going in, but they still are able to get up underneath the bucket, number 21. Mariah uh, Liggins. She Liggins. 10 points tonight. Steely throws it to Decker on the side. Back to Steely. Back to Hickey. It gets poked away, and it looks like a free layup right here for number 22. Uh, Frank Franklin uh, for Blanchard. Got to take care of that ball. Uh, it's really, really important. Another oh. turnover. That's two turnovers, and, and what appears... Uh, Oh, looks like a little scoop layup. Yeah. We got lucky on that one that they didn't convert and have four points, but Blanchard's going back in, lays it up pretty easy. That's four points just within seconds, and uh, Vandenberg decides that she is not going to have that. If they're going to win this ball game, they've got to take care of that ball uh, just a little bit better, don't you think? Uh, I completely agree, yes. I tell you what, we're down in the stretch. 6-15 uh, left, 47-43. Uh, and, you know, a, a, basketball is a game of ups and downs, you know, ebb and flow. And it seems like right now the momentum's kind of switched towards Blanchard for the last just even 30 seconds. Um, yeah. But in this timeout, uh, Vanderberg's going to have to find a way to encourage those girls to turn that around and get that motivation headed in their direction. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. I mean, this Blanchard team has fought 
all day long, getting it within, like just now, 10 point lead. Right. For Noble, got it down within four. That's right. Really quick, too. They're not so going it, away quiet. No, they're not. It, it, it happens quickly. So we're going to see if she's going to take and uh, put Abernathy back in here pretty quick uh, with four fouls, and she does. Uh, this is kind of crunch time at this point. You're going to put in those those players that you really uh, probably started you out and try to see if you can finish with them. If I was Abernathy, I'd have my hands straight up, my feet wide. Just playing straight, straight up defense. All right. So right now we need uh, we need George to heat up. We need uh, Hickey to find that mark on the floor again. Feed the hot hand. I'd try to get the ball to Hickey. She's been hot all night long. All night long. That's for sure. That's a Lionel Richie song, by the way, if you don't know it. All right. Here's Hickey again. And she's looking to drive, kind of lowers her shoulder, oh, takes it towards the hoop. Another great board by George. Could not finish, though. Blanchard ball headed back the other direction. It's now nine boards, almost ten. Blanchard's keeping the ball quite a bit outside, looking for that high post, but uh, Hayden's got her covered up. Turns the corner towards Great the rim. Great block by George. Wow, nice, nice, nice block by George. Landry's having a hard time getting the ball to, to penetrate it to where they can get a solid straight shot. So that is, you got to contribute the defense uh, to the Bears. High post right there, and she drives. Nice shot from the side, but those are hard to make. And Landry George is bringing the ball. Steely picks it up. Kicks it all the way across to Hickey. Hickey likes to drive from the left and shoot on the right. <laughs> and uh, she brings that ball up underneath again. And uh, she's, she's, she's almost Harding-esque, if you know what I mean, <laughs> and when, it, when it comes to drawing those fouls. She pulls her hands down really low, kind of swings them through, and uh, somehow, some way, Blanchard finds a way to hit them every time. So she didn't connect on that first one. But she's got one more opportunity here to put them to 48 if she drills this one and she hits the front Great of the rim. by Abernathy. Gets it to George. George is a little short and rebounded by Blanchard. Blanchard brings the ball up the center, kicks it to the left side, thinks about shooting in the corner, but decides not to, centers the ball back up. Now they're all trying to set up a overload. The left side lets two go through, lays it up pretty easy, and because we were late on the defense, we, we grabbed her on the way by. So it's now five on Reese Carpenter. That is George's first foul of the night. All right, ball's up. Misses that one, but it goes out on George. But they call that on Blanchard and or Abernathy. They call it on uh, and give it give it to to Noble. I could have swore that went out to went out on us. If you're Noble, what are you doing right now, Chad? Are you slowing it down or are you no, trying to No, I'm getting the ball into Hickey's hand. I'm letting her drive is what I'm doing. Hey! Or we'll just throw it into George from the outside and let her hit one. Up five points. I still like the Hickey, Hickey method, though. You know, she, she's able to drive in, and anytime she can get to the free throw, and it puts more pressure as far as fouls go. And the Lions don't have a foul to give. Either. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Another, another easy layup, but it's, it's missed. Abernathy gets hit. It's thrown on the floor. What a fight. And they call a jump ball from here. If I had the stripes on, I might have called that one a different way, but uh, we... We do have a, a jump ball. Possession is going to go to the uh, to the Bears. Vandenberg selling Steely just to hold on and let's get set up. Things are getting a little chippy as of late. Getting closer. That's right. Three forty-seven, three forty-six left in the in the ball game, and uh, things are getting getting tight. So. Uh, you're going to see a little bit more of that. Steely from outside was feeling it, but didn't hit anything. 
Uh, we'll just have to count that one as a turnover, and uh, Blanchard's going to have to try to break this press against the Bears. The Bears are going to have to try to get this ball back. They're taking their time. They figured out how to do it that time, but Steely from the backside pokes the ball out, goes out of bounds, so we're going to have Blanchard on the baseline, and they're going to run a box play. Looks like 22 will get the, the ball on the right side, back inside, inside to the big, but Hayden George is all over number 24. Two gets the ball and kind of does a little toss up. Uh, they get a couple looks, but nothing's going to go in for them. But from the from the downtown mark, nothing is going to hit for Blanchard. Right. A lot of great opportunities, but nothing's falling for Blanchard Lions right now. All right. Coach Vandenberg trying just to tell her team, her young team, just to calm down just a little bit, just to take their time for a minute, make sure that they don't turn the ball over. And it looks like we've got a foul. On number 30, 20, Allie Lawson. And that sends Hickey to the line. She's in a little bit of pain. Looks like she might have uh, jammed her finger or something, but uh, she's going to go ahead to the line. She's going to shoot. Noble's now in the bonus, so. Yeah. We've got a one-in-one -one situation here, it looks like. Noble. She misses the first one. And is that on Abernathy? That is on Hickey. Hickey. Thank goodness. Boy, Abernathy was right there. That's Hickey's third foul as well. And now Blanchard's in the bonus. All right, so number 20, Lawson is at the line. She shoots and makes the first one. 249 left. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty here at the end of this ball game. It's been a great uh, matchup between the uh, Bears and the Lions. And she hits the second one. And so now the Bears... With their back against the wall here just a little bit, has to decide what they're going to do. Are they going to put the ball in Hickey's hand? Are they going to let uh, George shoot from the outside? Looks like Blanchard's Steely gets hit him. hard from number 22, Franklin. And that'll put her on the line. All right, we're going to need... Uh, it should be a, a one and one from Steely. She sets up and shoots. Oh, nice shot from uh, Steely off the line. Earning a second look at the bucket now. And hits the second one, puts them up. 52 47, 236 left on, in the game. Bears kind of pull back just a little bit, and uh, Blanchard rushes the ball down, shoots, looks, misses, gets the ball back and again. Great board by Hayden George. That's 10 boards on the night. 10 boards on the night and a foul when she pulls the ball down. That foul is going to be on Carpenter, and that's her fourth. Hayden George is going to be at the line once again, 52-47. Noble Bears are up, 225 left in the ballgame. Vandenberg's talking it over with their guards here in the backcourt, what they're going to do. And the coaches from the Blanchard side are saying, run it, hurry it up. They're, they're trying to get to the, uh, to the rim as fast as they can. And the uh, defense of the Bears seem to be pretty tight right now not allowing uh, anybody to penetrate in. Back door, 20's up and in. Seen that one coming from the left side. Just caught, him, caught us trailing, 52-49 with 152 left. Hickey has the ball. George turns and looks. Steely wants to drive, gets the ball poked from her but gets it back. And uh, Hickey turns and goes towards the bucket. Kind of turns oh. sideways, and it rolls off the 
side of the rim. Blanchard rebounds the ball and is bringing it down with 1.30 left and shoots from the outside, hits the rim and gets the rebound. And that puts us at 52-51. Bears are up by one point. Man, what a ball game tonight. A minute 22 left. We're going to take a break and we're going to come back with you in just a moment here at noblebears.tv. Security needs to be at the top of the list when it comes to your family, home, and lifestyle. We offer advanced systems that provide a secure connection to dedicated professionals who can dispatch first responders at a moment's notice. Your system will feature an easy to use touch screen that intuitively makes operating your system as simple as one touch. It's state of the art security that fits into your lifestyle and your life. Give us a call today to learn more. All right, we're back live with you at the den with uh, 122 left, 52 51. Noble is up by one. They've led as much as 10, um, but it seems like Blanchard just keeps creeping back in uh, time after time after time. What do you think right now uh, they're, they're saying in that uh, huddle? Braden? Slow down. Slow the ball down. Don't Slow turn it down. over. Don't make any dumb decisions. Slow down. Do not turn the ball over. You don't have to do anything fast right now. You have the lead. You don't have to do anything fast right now. Okay, so Blanchard for the first time tonight that I remember is going to go into a full court press and see if the Bears can break it. And they do pretty easy. He goes down, throws it to George. George shoots from the side and hey. hits two from the side. Puts him up by three points That's with 111 left. That's a double-double for Hayden George tonight. Man, she's played well, hadn't she? The crowd's going wild, telling them to D up. And, uh, and unfortunately, that time they did not because an easy two, it's still a one-point ball, ball game. 52 seconds left. Man-to-man -man defense for, uh, for Blanchard. Hickey has the ball in her hands, and I think that's exactly who I'd want to have the ball is uh, Hickey because I feel like she's going to drive here in just a minute. We got a timeout. Timeout from uh, Coach Vandenberg. And we're going to take it with them here at noblebears.tv. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Oklahoma Career Tech's been serving up skills to doers just like you for over 100 years. But this ain't your great Grammys of Pop Pop Tech School. Oklahoma's favorite place to learn new skills keeps learning new tricks. Everyone knows the best way to learn is to do it yourself. Sir, you okay? Because you shouldn't have to wait to do what you love. Whatever you choose to do, do you. Oklahoma Career Tech. Now is the time to. All right, we are back. 39.3 seconds left. Bears have a one point, one point lead in the ball game. Everything comes down to this. Braden, I'm, I'm thinking if, if I'm the Bears, I want it in Hickey's hands, driving to the bucket. She's had enough fouls tonight, you know, drawing those fouls, that that might be what I want with 39 seconds left. Ball's being on the sidelines. It's poked. Oh, it's oh. almost poked away by Blanchard. Steely has it. Somebody's coming up behind her. Hickey has the ball up top. 31 seconds left. Hickey drives, shoots, oh. misses. Blanchard's running the ball down the court from the top. They pull it out with 22 seconds left. Got the ball on the right side. Blanchard does number two. Carpenter is looking for somebody open. Tom and Blanchard. Blanchard decides that they're going to they're going to stop for a second. They're going to talk about this one for a moment. Man, what a barn burner we got tonight. 14.3 seconds left on the game. Noble's up by one, but we're not going to 
We're not going to pull away from this one this time. We're going to watch it all the way through. I, uh, I'm sitting here watching the uh, Blanchard coach in the huddle trying to draw up something so that they can uh, so that they can score. They've tried that high low thing all night long. It, it, do you think that Hayden George is going to be able to stop it this time with 14.3 seconds left? I mean, she's done it all game, so I don't see why not. If I'm Noble, though, I'm watching out for number 22, Sadie Franklin. 12 points tonight. She's been on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. She has been shooting the ball and, and shooting it well. And so we'll see We'll see uh, exactly what Blanchard pulls out of the bag. The, uh, we definitely need to see a turnover from the, from the Bears at this point, but we don't have to score. You know, with 14.3 left, it's not like we have to rush the ball down and try to get it in the bucket. We've got, we've got time to pull the ball out and make Blanchard actually foul us, but we've got to keep him away from the bucket right now for the 14.3 seconds to win this ball game. Here we go. Everybody's on their feet here in the den, and they're ready to see what takes place. Ball's in. Clock started, and Blanchard wants the ball in the middle. They're looking just a little bit confused right now about what they're going to try to do. The, they go baseline. They flip it to the other side. She drives and shoots. Oh! She misses. Bears win. Bears oh win. Oh, what a game. 54-53. Bears in their, in their game opener at the den. And I'm telling you what, they pulled it out. Pulled you it can't out. let the bear out of the cave, folks. <laughs> That's exactly right. I'll tell you what. This Noble Bear team is excited for uh, what they've accomplished tonight. And they, they make a turnaround coming from Chickasha and decided that they were going to, uh, to play some hard basketball. Coach Vandenberg comes over and gives us knuckles, and she's excited about the win that took place tonight uh, here in the den. What, that's, that's a great start. If you can win, uh, win a ball game against Blanche, which has always been a great, great girls team, uh, that that puts a statement for your uh, for for your team uh, for the season, I believe. Exactly right. And Noble moves one and zero at the den. That's right. That's exactly right. All right. Well, I tell you what, we want to thank you so much for tuning in to NobleBears.tv for the Lady Bears uh, game tonight. What a game it was! Tune in every every home game, and we'll be here with you. The boys are coming onto the court right now. We're going to switch over to a new feed, so it'll go off. And then if you'll just tune right back on to NobleBears.tv, we're going to be with you in just a minute. Thank you. And this is NobleBears.tv. Go Bears!